Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. I can't interrupt those. Yeah, I could have interrupted the soul piercing gaze. If I hadn't used my interrupts. Showing where I couldn't use the interrupts. Yeah, makes perfect sense, doesn't it? That's, that's the sort of thing that you should do, is you should use your interrupt, proving that you can't use it. Yeah, that's, that's how it works. Uh, there. He did that, and I managed to stop him from, um... I think that one there isn't holy damage. That's physical damage. And then this here is... Uh, hits with a shield. That's holy damage. That's the only one there. That's the only ability I've got that causes physical damage is that one right there. All of the rest of my abilities do holy damage. So when I use that thing that blinds them and disorients them for a while, that holy damage is... Like, there's only one that will break that. As a handy thing to remember. What's that up there? Sir Aaron Crestley. Do I need to speak to you? Have I got to, I got to get the other stuff first? I think I've got to get... Uh, here lies Sir Aaron Crestley, defender of Drusvar, valiant hero, loving brother in arms, true friend. I think I need to go and get all of these flowers first. Then once I've got those, then I can speak to the dude. So I will grab the Grey Blooms. There's another Soul Forge Grave Stalker right there, and some Enraged Spirits. A few of them. Uh, I'll grab up a couple of these there. I'll get you, and I'll get you over there, and... It's uh, too far away. Do that. That one's still too far away. As long as I can keep doing enough damage to some of these, I should still be able to take them on, even though I'm not currently fighting them right now. I should be able to just sort of keep them ticking over. I'm going to throw all of these in. Chuck them all in the ring. Why not? Heal ourselves up a little bit while we're at it. It's not going to hurt. And very quickly take these. Where's the rest of our flowers? There's a hoardy up over there. Not particularly interested in hoardies. We've got some more. i got another cracked mask. I've had one of those before. All right. Three more flowers. They're right here. Okay. One here. There. If I see another gravestone, we could always clean up one of them. I've got 72% done on this bonus objective right here. There is a grave across the way over there that we could um, put a little bit of spit shine on. That'll help. Right. Grave blooms. That's that bit done. Next, I've got to... Let's... Ooh! Shiny. Let's go and get the shiny. Over there, I see it. A great big towering pile of shiny. Right there. And there's another gravestone over there as well. So we'll grab both of these. And then we'll go back over the little circle. Salve created and applied. That's over there. And as soon as we're done. Then I think we can speak to the, the bloke that we, we need to go and speak to. So there's a shiny gravestone. And then there's another gravestone over here that we can spit shine. It's a lot of spit shining. If you're doing all of this spit shining, it, uh, I, I highly recommend that um, you, you have a, a drink while you're doing it. Otherwise, otherwise, you run a bit dry. And, um, yeah, you, you, you run out of spit. It, take, it takes longer to do it. I don't really want to do that. It's not a road you want to travel down. It's really not. Right. That over there I'm going to leave because it's too close to Nevermore. And I don't want to have to kill Nevermore again. Although it looks like I'm going to have to go and kill Nevermore anyway. Oh, no. No, I can just avoid him. I can avoid him, but only just. I'll take you, and then there's an enraged spirit up there, which I'm going to get as well. And I'll drop this lot down. I need to get closer. There, like that. Right. Now, back up that way a little tiny bit, and then take all of these down. That's going to get me a good chunk of that one done, so we get a load more XP. Gold as well, 40 gold. 40 gold never hurts. I'm always glad to have some 40 goldses. And I'll do that, and then I'm going to... Wallop them all, yeah, wallop them all the shield like that, there. See? It holds them off for a good few seconds doing that. I like that ability. That ability is actually very cool. A little bit of a heal up. 96%. Kill these two. Actually, one of them. Yeah, one of them is done. 33,000 XP, 40 gold. We are racing up through the levels. There's a few more bits. Untainted wicker right there. Right, that's, that's all of that bit done. So long as I don't get too close to Nevermore, we'll be alright. It's the only thing that's going to cause us any problem is getting close to him. Salve created and applied. Now I can go down here, ignore the other spirits, 
and have a wee chat with Aaron Cresterly. Oh, I got to free him. Why did I have to free him? Trust bar stands firm. Stranger, lend me your aid. I am ensnared in a witch's foul magic, and I do not know how much longer I can resist. Destroy the circle binding me. A witch has infested this goodly place with her foul power. Stranger, you have proven yourself a friend. Perhaps you will be our salvation. In life, my compatriots and I were valiant champions, as you are. In death, we are potent souls to make the witch's accursed minions even more powerful. With your help, I have resisted thus far. But this foul witch pulled brave Bridget from her justly won rest. She is now trapped in one of those macabre constructs. This witch intends to use Bridget to bring death upon the lands she was oath sworn to protect. Free Bridget Fairwater's soul and the construct from the construct which entraps her. Glory to House Waycrest. Glory to House Waycrest. We need to find Bridget and we need to free her from the construct. She's up here. Which bound Bridget? Which bound bounty hunter? That's that. Uh, which wicker bound hunter? There. This is who we want. If we can free Bridget, we will have done what we set out to do. Find the cause of the problem. This is, well, we obviously knew it was all down to the witches. And then once we've done this bit, we can then head off up the hill and we can go and do the next bit, which is find Rebecca Hale in Gold Cabal. That's the next thing that I want to do. So I'm going to find her and probably going to have to do a whole load of quests and adventures and, and things because I've no doubt she would have gotten to herself in a sticky situation and it would be down to us to free her. There, Bridget Fairwater freed. I get a stinging nettle for that. Thank you for freeing me from that construct. A foul construct, I think that was. Right, oh. The witch was too much for me and I was trapped. i got to go in here, have I? Oh, there's not an in here. This is just, yeah, I just got to go through here. Look. Ah. Good day to you. Why, that pustulant boil on a toad's rump. Use me as a pawn? Fie, I will see her scent scream into the foul pit she crawled from. My thanks. The witch will pay for her heinous actions. Our loathsome foe, Sister Westwood, yet continues her work. After subjugating myself, she set her malicious sights on my companion, Fair Mercy. Of us three, Mercy was most kind and possessing of uncommon inner strength. Yet I fear for her, corrupting such a soul would make her for a fearsome creature indeed. Stop the vile ritual before Mercy is taken. Allow the dead their rest. Slay Sister Westwood and free us from her grasp. Look always to the sea. Well, I'll see what I can do. Can't make any promises, but uh, I, I will try. Brutus Thornton. You're not who I'm looking for. Sister Westwood is who I'm looking for. Away. That one right there. These souls are mine. No, they're not. I refuse to allow you. I refuse. To. I don't know why I've gone and picked up this Brutus Thornton. That was probably a bit of a little, uh, a little, a bit of a little mistake. A little bit of a mistake. Uh, I'm going to do that. I don't want you draining any essences from me. My essences right where they are. Thanks. They're not for you. They keep me alive. My life essence coursing through me is not for you. Keep your greedy mitts off, you hideous, hideous creature. Look at you. Disgusting. Right, Sister Westwood slain. Mercy Fairwater. Is that Fairwater? I don't know. She, she, she's gone over there. I've, I've got Brutus Thornton here. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to kill him again in a minute. Oh, someone else is having to kill Brutus as well. That They're over here helping. That's handy. It's definitely handy. There we go. Brutus is down. Gold tie spray linen and some stinging nettles right there. Let's go over go speak with Mercy Fairwater. State your business. Ah, uh, thanks to you, brave champion. You have freed us from the witch's vile influence and stopped her corruption from spreading. Our very souls have been saved by thy actions. Now we may rest. Glory to House Waycrest. We are gladdened to see there are still champions such as you, Grundorn. I think that's it. I think we're done. That's everything. Right. So now we've got Rebecca up there. We need to go back out there and then along that, cross that bridge and we'll go up to there. That's where we're headed next. Let's mount up. Ooh. Excuse me. Uh, let's go over this way. Something's chasing me. Forgive me. What is chasing me? I'm in combat. 
Seriously, Sister Westwood again? You leave me alone, you hideous witch. There's no need for that. Look, you're just being bitter and twisted now, just because My I've got... My life for the coven! Oh. Uh... This is not going well. I got lots of nasty things chasing me, and I don't really want anything. What is going on up here? I got Long Fang, and I've got Henry Breakwater. Why? Why? What? 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 What are they doing? They're champions. I'm supposed to be able to get through them. I got a crossbowman down there who's busy throwing things at me from a long distance. Which I really—if I hide behind the tree, maybe he won't be able to get me. They do that sometimes. Is he going to still shoot me? Sometimes they can, and so... Ooh, hello. We were taking a bit of damage. Let's, let's do that. And I'll bring in my giant... Um... Heffalump thingy. I don't have a torch. Okay. You're supposed to come up the hill. And you're supposed to come and fight me. Instead of hiding like a sniveling coward behind the tree, you're supposed to come up and face me. Face me like a man. Face me like a... What are you? Demon infested constructs. Yeah? Not a sniveling coward. Take you down. There. This is what we do to sniveling cowards. That, that'll teach you. Well, it would have been a lot faster if you'd come up and faced me. I was wondering whether I should do a little bit of fishing, because we haven't done that yet. We could just come down here. We'll, we'll do a little bit. Your fish didn't land in. Your fish didn't land in castable water. Okay, apparently we're not doing fishing. Let's go and have a look at this. I don't really know what this is about. We've got Long Fang. And we've got Henry Breakwater. Long Fang is quite the beast. Mainlander, eh? Mainlander, eh? The spirit of Hunter Henry Breakwater is too focused on his eternal struggle to acknowledge you. He is locked in combat with the spirit of the wolf, Long Fang. Neither side will give way to the other, locked in stalemate even in death. Choose to help Henry Breakwater and end the stalemate. Even rotten crocs we grow. So what happens? Spirit of the Mighty Wolf Longfang continues to fight even in death. She is forever locked in combat with Hunter Henry Breakwater. Choose to help Longfang and end the stalemate. So I can choose to help the Hunter or Longfang. Great Noble Wolf. Great Noble... You know, honestly, I'm more tempted to help the wolf than I am to help Henry Breakwater. Though, oh, we don't, we don't know the story here. What was the backstory? Was she going around and slaughtering lots of people? Or perhaps Henry Breakwater just went into her territory and um, it was an unprovoked attack. He just decided he wanted a trophy. I don't know. Is he a trophy hunter or is he a noble protector of the innocent? I'm going to help Longfang. We all knew that I was going to do this. Right, help Longfang with the eternal fight. Longfang attacks with renewed vigor. Now she has allies. I may end up regretting this. I may seriously end up regretting this. I might not. You never know. I might. This, this might be something that we wanted to do. I don't know if we can come back and we can do it the other way around later on. Just to sort of see whether or not we pick the right side. There's nothing better than making a decision. An absolute solid, rock solid, perfect decision. And then second guessing yourself over it for about an hour or so. You know, that's, that's, that's what you should really be aiming to do. If you're going to make a decision, make it, then second guess yourself for ages afterwards. Because otherwise it just doesn't feel like you've made the right decision, does it? If, if you just make the decision and walk away without giving it another thought. How, uh, who, who lives like that? Honestly. Who lives like that? You, you've got to sweat over it a bit. You've got to worry about whether you did the right thing. I mean, at the moment, I'm seriously concerned that I might have hurt the NPC's feelings. You know, take that into account when you're busy saying that um, uh, computer games make people violent. We worry about whether we hurt the NPC's feelings. That's how violent we get. Longfire howls in triumph, thanking you, and lies down to finally rest. Nothing else that I got from that. Well, that's it. That was the epic and noble struggle between the two of them. And it is now finished. I'm going to take a little uh, short skip and a hop skip and a, a short... A, a short skip and a hop up over to here. And I'm going to grab that. 
Then we've got a small treasure chest there right in front of us, which I'm going to go for as well. And we need to find Rebecca Hale. It's not this way, but there's a chest over this way, so I want to grab that first. That's, I see it. I see it. I'm going to try and just stay to the side over here so that I'm out the way of anything else. Grab that right there, and then... Don't give me invalid target. It was there. It was right on top of it. It's not fair. Okay, vengeful bones. Spirits all over. This, this, this is not looking too good, really. Let's go for it. Let's, let's just go racing through all of the spirits. Ignore them for the most part. Who are you? Thorn Speaker Birchgrove. Ooh. Right, well, that right there, that's the super, super pet battles, master tamers. Um, you've really got to know your stuff and got to have decent pets to be able to take on stuff like that, right? They are particularly difficult ones to take on. And so are all of these things around me as well. Right, there's a quest. Let, let's go and speak to her and then we'll worry about the rest of it. Um, Mainlander, eh? We aren't sent you. Oh, light bless that woman. Light, light bless her. Fall upon the coven. Don't get uh, many travelers here. Mainlander, stop a moment. I could really use Anne. My team and I were hunting in the ruins of Gold Caval when the stones began to attack us. Never seen anything like that before. Ranger Wan sent Duke and I to get some medical supplies for our injured. I'm going to have to do this in a minute. There. Duke didn't get hit by those possessed stone monsters, but he wasn't as fortunate with the spiders nearby. He'll be okay if he rests for a while, but my team needs his medical supplies. Please take these to Ranger Wands. This land is cursed. Right, well, I'll do that, but at the minute I, I got a little bit of a spider problem. Okay. There. Right, let's um, do that a minute, and then I can take these three down. And then we'll start worrying about the rest of it, because there's like those little spiders around, and I reckon that they're... Oh, that's that's just the the bonus thing. Kill spiders and egg sacks. Right. Well, we'll do the bonus thing. I've been doing like I've I've said all the way through that I wasn't doing bonus. Well, I didn't in um out not uh, in Drenor, and I didn't I in Legion. I didn't want to. Um, but I have been doing them in this one, and I think we will stick with doing them in this one because it takes a little bit longer to do anything in um to to level level up in this particular area. If I do that, right, spiderlings, we can take them down pretty quick. There's a bit of ore over there, which I'm going to get next. And then once I've got the ore, I'm going to get that without attracting the attention of those spiders. I can indeed. Look at that. Fan master. Right. I'm going to do that, and I don't know if I do anything to those spider eggs. I think the egg, well, kill the egg sacks. How do I kill the egg sacks? But it's... Oh, there's a woodland bat there. I don't think that's one that I've got to worry about. Hit you. Is there anything I can do with that one? Oh, i got to go to the big one. There's cocooned victims there. But there's a, there is a, a thing that I want to get further down. Right. Spiderlings. There's a big old bat right there. And there's a epic thingy over there and then there's a chest up here on top of the hill spiderlings yeah spiderlings also get us some extra points so I will do that now I'm rooted and there's the I'm chest over there range. that's what I'm after is that chest right there can I get that one I can just right do that if I can unroot a minute and just turn around, there we go. I have all of these in front of me. I can take I can take these out pretty quickly now. Go through that lot right there. It doesn't matter if I get rooted now. Because I can quickly deal with these. We can throw down shields. We can keep putting the rest of it out. And I've got a bat here in with all of the rest of this lot. Uh, venomous there and you. Okay, that's all. Oh, wow, that was really quick. Okay, those spiders don't put up much of a fight, really, do they? Then I want to go over here and I want to get this chest. And then there's an epic thing further along. Right, there's another Tortolan thingy. We've got an, an oily glass eyeball thing. That's a soulbound one, though. Uh, Tortolan pilgrimage scroll. There's another one that we picked up. Right, what is that up there? Bone squall. It's a venomous weaver. I, I don't know where that one... I'm not going to worry about that one. 
I think I will leave that one. We'll go and we'll take the medical supplies. I've done the area thing, the zone quest. So we do a quick run up through here and then we can... Yeah, there's that bloke right there. We've already seen him once. We ran past him, didn't we? Oh, there's another chest over there. That's down, though. How far down? How far have I got a... That's... Uh, Small treasure chest. Is it worth trying to get? It probably is. Now that I think about it, it's probably not. Getting back up again, I think, is going to be a long, long route. So I don't think I'll worry about that. I will leave it. I'll go over here. Round there. And then try and weave in through these. I not much weaving involved, to be honest. Right, there we go. Range of Wands. Eh? Rebecca sent you. Bless that girl. You've come just in time. I've seen some strange things in these woods, but nothing like this. We're barely holding off these monsters here. If it hadn't been for Thorn Speakers, we'd surely be dead. I was worried Rebecca hadn't made it. You brought Rebecca's supplies just in time. We've had, we have many injured out in the field, Thorn Speaker, Ranger, and Companion alike. I, I need help to hold the line. I need, I need help to hold the line here. Go into the ruins and heal as many of the wounded as you can. If the living rocks weren't bad enough, it seems the undead are hauling themselves out of the ground too. This used to be a drust settlement, so they're probably drust bones. They hated us, and the feeling is definitely mutual right now. I don't, I don't know what stirred them up, but they're a danger to us and everyone else. Take them out, and I'll reward you for the work. May blight fall upon the coven. State your business. State your business. Steady on ahead. Keep your distance, Mainlander. Ancient threats are stirring in these lands. Be wary. My mentors sense the activation of the ancient powers here. We came to stop them, but we were too late. We banded together with the rangers for mutual protection, but our task remains unfinished. There is a set of ancient cairns here. These help empower the Drust constructs. Destroying them will also help to settle the undead stirring from the land. Destroy the cairns, and we'll be able to bring sanity to this place. The Drust Constructs are drawn from the lands, but the heart of these constructs is a runic power core. We've been trying to collect and destroy as many of these cores as we can. We know of a way to disrupt the magic in the core. Doing so will prevent more of these monstrosities from being created around the Dark Hearts, and protect the land and all the living in this region. Bring me as many runic power cores as you can, as you can find, and Thorn Speakers will see that they are put to good use. Be wary of unfamiliar faces. Be wary of unfamiliar faces. Right, I need to take on Vengeful Bones and Awaken Guardians. I got a lot. Of, I, I got a lot of work to do. Right, let's let's gather these up. That one there, and there's a couple over this way. Yes. Is that going to get another one? Nope, that's not going to get another one. But that I'm one over, over there me. might. There we go. Right. Let's chuck these down. I've already I taken up two of them because I got these dudes helping me, which is awesome. Right, that, that definitely helps us out a little bit. If, if, if we can get a little bit of extra, it's just a little tiny bit of um, additional assistance as we go through. That does, Look at all these guys. There's loads of them here. Thorn Guard Iron Claw. I like these. I like these dudes. These dudes are brilliant. Uh, am I able to mine? I'm not able to mine any of them. It's a bit unfortunate. All right. We will go and help the injured Thorn Speaker. There. Thank you, stranger. I thought I was done for. I don't know what kind of accent a um, animated uh, animalistic plant would have. Not really sure on that one. <laughs> it's, it's never something that's come up before. I will be honest. Uh, that's a great sea catfish school. Right. That one doesn't matter. Okay. Bones over there. Uh, vengeful bones there. And, right, I'll take down this lot. I've got that stone there that I'm going to want to face. So I'll take you over there. Grundle Jenkins! And you over there. Now we're talking. Let's have the whole lot. Here we go. That's more like it. We were going to have all of you. Let's dance, you and I. Let's dance. There we go. Right. Yeah, how do you like this music, hey? How do you like this boogie? Boogie on down, Grondorn style. That's what we're doing. 
So there's four. I, how many? I, I got four of something. I need minor ancient cans destroyed. That's one of the ones that I got right here. There's more of those dudes over there that we've got to go and help. Um, quickly do that. If I put that on the ground, that will probably help me do a bit more damage. Here we go. Right, runic power core. I've picked up a couple of them. There's another green there. Ideal. Right. Uh, that one needs to be destroyed. There's one of them done. And that is a Winter's Kiss, which requires herbalism, which we do not have. We won't be doing a character with herbalism for quite some time. Injured Companion. That's a dog. That's just, just a general dog. Two of ten injured here. I need a lot more injured. We need to find lots of injured. Several of them. Injured Ranger over there. I've never seen spirits like these before. I'm out of here. You probably would have seen them if you'd opened your eyes a bit, because they've been here for a long time, I'm guessing. that They look like they're really old. Oh, maybe, maybe they haven't. Maybe, maybe they haven't. Maybe, you know, uh, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Apparently, I am one to judge, because I'm being very, very judgmental. Uh, I can see more. There was a, a chest behind me. I don't know if I'm in the right place for that chest. Injured Thorn, these constructs must be destroyed. Please help. I'm going to head across the river over here because this seems to be about right. Okay. Take those two there. And now go in this way. Right, that dude will help me. He will help me if I come in here. And then I've got that one and that one over there. Put down some more. Right, I've got one thing helping me. There's a thing that I need to go over to. You know you could come into the fight instead of running away. Yeah, I'm helping you. You can stay and return the favor with some more of these. There's a chest over there somewhere. Is that our height? Runebound cash. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this runebound cash, but I'm sure there will be a way. Oh, I've got another one in coming in here. Is that a respawn? I think it could have been. Let's go on this way a little bit further. Ooh, what's that? Heart's Bane... What is a Heart's Bane scroll? Never heard... I, I don't know what that is. I want to find out now. I need, I need to find out what is a Heart's Bane scroll. There, right. I've got rid of all that lot. There's another runic power core. That's only three runic power cores so far. What are you? Heart's Bane scroll. Cast a random witchcraft spell at the... Ooh, okay. Random witchcraft spell at the target. Seems pretty cool. These constructs must be destroyed. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Tiragard Perch School. Great Sea Catfish School. Monolite Deposit. That's in a cave, though. Right. Take that and... Out of range. That. And then... I need to get uh, that over there, and the rest are already here, so I don't need to do any more to aggravate them, and then do that. And then, Grim Seal, what does that do? I uh, don't know what that did. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. Didn't seem to do a lot, to be honest. That's a bit disappointing. I thought that was going to be something quite spectacular that was really going to help us out. It didn't actually seem to do a great deal at all, did it? Uh, oh well, uh, that's, what's done is done. There's nothing that we can do about it. It was ultimately a disappointment. So we don't need to get too excited. Well folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest. And we are far from the mightiest, so we're very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.